This question says if 2nc3 is to nc3 is equal to 12 is to 1, how do you find the value of n? So let us uh, rewrite this given ratio as 2nc3 divided by nc3 is equal to 12 by 1. By cross multiplication, we have 2nc3 is equal to 12 times nc3. And further expanding it, we have 2n, the factorial, divided by 2n minus 3, the factorial, into 3 factorial. That is equal to 12 times, inside the brackets, it is n factorial by n minus 3, the factorial, into 3 factorial. We can cancel 3 factorial and 3 factorial. <coughs> Further, we can expand the numerator as 2n into 2n minus 1 into 2n minus 2 into 2n minus 3, the factorial. I will stop it there because there is a 2n minus 3 factorial in the denominator which can be cancelled, this and this. That is equated to 12 times n factorial, which is which can be expanded as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3, the factorial, divided by n minus 3, the factorial. Again, this n factorial and x n factorial can be cancelled. And if I divide both sides by 2, this 2 will vanish. This will become now 6. So we have now 2n minus 1 into 2n minus 2 is, sorry, n into 2n minus 1 into 2n minus 2 is equal to 6 times n into n minus 1 into n minus 2. Again, this n and n can, can be cancelled. So we have now this to this, this factors 2n minus 1, 2n minus 2 is equal to 6 times n minus 1 into n minus 2. Now let us expand it. If I expand the left hand side, it becomes now 4n square minus 4n minus 2n plus 2 is equal to 6 times n square minus 2n minus n plus 2. Further, it can be simplified as 4n square minus 6n plus 2 is equal to 6n square minus, this is 3n, 3 into 6 is 18n plus 12. Now bringing everything to the, uh, everything to the right hand side, we will have 0 is equal to 6n square minus 4n square minus 18n plus 6n plus 12 minus 2. So that means we have 2n square minus 12n plus 10 is equal to 0. Again, dividing both sides by 2, we will have n square minus 6n plus 5 equal to 0. This can be splitted, the middle term can be splitted as minus 3n minus, uh, no, sorry, I will make a change there because the sum has to be 6 minus 6. So we will write now minus 5n minus n plus 5 equal to 0. So now in the first two terms common is n. So n into n minus 5 minus n minus 5 equal to 0 which means n minus 5 times n minus 1 equal to 0. Now, n equal to 1 or 5, but we may notice n equal to 1 is not valid. Why? Why not valid? We'll go back. If I put n as 1, what will happen here? n will be lesser than this R means NC3, 1C3 it will become. Again here also 2 into 1 it is 2. 2C3 two is not a valid uh, combination because N that is this 
number should be always larger than or equal to this number. So, so n equal to 1 is not valid. Therefore, n equal to 5. That is the solution for this particular problem.